Hey guys, it's Tina here. Welcome back to another episode of Tina Tries It. In today's episode, I'll be trying out brand new products from Sephora. I'm actually really excited for today's episode because I partnered up with Sephora. Yes, they actually reached out to me and they've been watching my series and they love it. So they sent me a bunch of their brand new products to try out in my Tina Tries It series. So it's so crazy. I can't believe like I get to work with them. It's definitely like every beauty YouTuber's dream come true to work with Sephora. So. Anyways, they sent me a bunch of products that's new at Sephora this season. So I've got so many here. There's like stuff from skincare, makeup, hair care, and fragrances. So we've got a lot to try out in this episode. So let's get started. Let's start off with the first product. I've got the Ulla Henriksen Counterbalance Oil Control Hydrator. This is a facial moisturizer designed for skin types that are oily or combination because it helps to control the oil, it helps to mattify the skin and also hydrate the skin. Sometimes people think that you don't need to hydrate the skin if you're oily, but you actually do. So with this moisturizer, it's really lightweight, so it's suitable for those skin types that have excess sebum. Also, it's really good for makeup as a base. So if you guys notice your makeup kind of separating at the end of the day because you get oily, this product helps with that. So with this product, all you need is a pump. And I'm just gonna work this product onto the center of my face first and then to the other areas. So I feel it feels really nice on my skin. I feel like it was really quickly absorbed into there and it doesn't feel like I've got anything on my skin. You know how it says it's mattifying? It's not like that kind of like silicone texture. It's just like really, I guess like a really natural finish. Moving on to the second product I got from Sephora. This is the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Loose Powder. This one is a revamped version of the old one. However, this one is more transparent and lightweight and it helps to blow away your imperfections. Let's open it up and try it out. Ooh. Whoa, it's gone everywhere. The packaging to this looks really different. It's got like, oh, it's going everywhere. It's got like a kind of cloth material there, which helps kind of like filter through, I guess, the powder because it's super fine. Alrighty, I'm just going to pick up some of this. Whew, this thing is so fine. Uh, I'm just gonna pat that onto my skin. Cool, so I just dusted a really light layer over my foundation. It feels actually quite nice. It's not like too drying or matte. It's just like a nice, really fine powder. Moving on to the next products. I'm actually really excited to try these out. These are the Benefit Cosmetics exclusive kits and they come in these like really cute pouches. There's the Work It Girl. This is a Workday Essentials makeup kit and it contains a mini pore professional primer, the Hoola bronzer, a mini roll lash mascara and the Benetint Rose Tinted Lip and Cheek Stain. How cute are the mini products? I'm absolutely a sucker for travel size products. You know when you're at Sephora and you already got all you needed in your basket, but then you stand there and you line up, and then you see all the travel size and you're like, yeah, I need that, I need that, I need that. That's totally me. Let me know if you guys are the same. Anyways, I'm gonna quickly try these products on from the first kit. This is the Work It Girl kit. The next kit I have here is the Date Night with Mr. Right, a sexy night out makeup kit. Inside the kit, you get a mini There Real Double the Lip in Lusty Rose. There's also the mini Rocketure Blush, the mini There Real Lengthening and Volumizing Mascara, and finally, the Cream to Powder Highlight in Champagne. I'm going to quickly try these products out. The last benefit exclusive kit is the Sunday My Prince Will Come, an easy weekend and makeup kit. In this kit, there's the Mini California Sunny Gold Pink Blush, a Gimme Brow in shade three, a Mini High Beam Highlighter, and the Mini Their Real Tinted Primer. So 
So that's the three exclusive kits from Benefit. Which one was your favourite one? I'm tossing up between the Work It Girl kit and the Sunday My Prince Will Come. I love that they're super handy pouches that you can bring with you on the go and they're perfect for travel and touch-ups. Also, it's a good way to try out a product before committing to the full size, just in case you don't like it. So these are really cool for that. The next product I have here to try are these Bite Beauty Prismatic Pearl Cream Lip Glosses. There's six shades here and each one has a modern pearly foiled look to them. I'm going to try each color on my lip and swatch them so you guys can see what they look like. This shade is Champagne Pearl. It has metallic champagne with nude and gold shimmer. This one is Pink Pearl. It has metallic pink with red and pink shimmer. This awesome shade is Rose Pearl. It has a metallic rose with green and violet shimmer. Next we have the Bronze Pearl, which has metallic bronze with gold and silver shimmer. Then we have Oyster Pearl. It has metallic taupe and silver shimmer. And finally, Peacock, metallic teal with black, red and green shimmer. Wow, the colour payoff in these lip glosses are really good and the colours definitely make a bold statement. Like, what do you think of this colour? I think this is like the craziest colour out of the range and it's just like... I don't know, super alien. I've seen girls wear like blue lipstick and like crazy colors on Instagram, but I've never worn anything like this crazy myself. Maybe I could get used to it. Maybe if I had blue hair or something. What do you guys think? Which shade do you like the best? Or which shade do you think is like the craziest? I should just wear this shade for the rest of the video. I have two more products to show you guys. This is the Bumble and Bubble Sumo Clay. This clay helps to give your hair texture and definition. It has a matte finish and you can really work it into your hair to give it more shape. I could probably use this product around my roots and my ends just to like give it a bit more texture. Let's just try it out. I'm gonna grab some and just use my fingertips. That's quite nice. It smells like, it smells like a guy. Mm. So I'm just going to spread that around my fingertips first and then just work it into my roots to create some oomph. Oh, look at that. Whoa. I think this product would work really well for like, you know, those kind of like natural beachy waves and it kind of looks like messy but like effortless and nice, if you know what I mean. <laughs> yeah. And then if you want it like messy, you can just work it into your ends and just create some separation. And ta-da, now my hair has a little bit more texture and it has a bit more shape to it as well. Finally, I have some commodity fragrances to show you guys and to test out. The first scent is Commodity Vetiver. I'm gonna spray some on the leaves. It smells really fresh and tropical, but not like super girly, if you know what I mean. The next one is Commodity Leather. I wonder if this actually smells like leather. It reminds me of Japan for some reason. It smells like those temples when you go in, they light the incense. It kind of smells like that. The last scent is Commodity Bergamot. Mmm, this one is my favorite. It smells really citrusy, really fresh. It smells like a holiday almost. So I've tried all the products Sephora sent me and instead of rating each one, I think I'm gonna pick my top three. My top ones have to be the Benefit Exclusive Makeup Kits. I love the travel size, I love the pouches that they come in and they're super cute and handy. Second on my list is the Bite Beauty Prismatic Pearl Cream Lip Gloss. This one is in Rose Pearl. I feel like this one matches my hair really well and it's not like super out there or too crazy, so I really like this one. And finally, I really like the Bumble and Bumble Sumo Clay. I actually don't really use any wax or clays on my hair, but I feel like this one works really well, especially if you want that undone, like, I just woke up like this look. Let me know which one is your favorite product out of the range that I tried today. You can let me know which products you love with the hashtag new at Sephora. And if you want more information about the products I tried out today, I'll leave the links below in the description box. I hope you guys have enjoyed this episode of Tina Tries It, brought to you by Sephora. Still can't believe I got to work with Sephora for this. It's like a dream come true. Make sure you subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and I'll speak to you guys next time. Bye!